Hello, everybody, and welcome to the personal financial management class at Grace Christian University. I am so excited to be in this course with you. And I want to say right at the beginning of this, this course can change your life. It is hard work, not academically hard work. It is hard work to be honest with yourself, to make hard phone calls, to be truthful with your family, with your spouse. Um, what I ask from you for this course is that you just pray for peace and for the boldness to confront your financial future. Um, this is a safe place to talk about mistakes. I, I have made most of the mistakes that I discuss in this course and facing them head on will make your life easier. Um, avoiding your financial situation will ultimately end up making it worse and worse and worse. So in this class, let's, let's be all in together. Let's make sure that this is a safe place to share experiences. And what I ask from you in this first week is to get on board with your family. Um, if you're sharing a house with somebody, if you have a spouse, if you have a partner, please make sure that they're involved in all the money that flows through your household. Um, this is not something you can do on your own if you're in a family. Um, I really would ask that you take the time to meet with your family, have a challenging meeting, have challenging discussions about money and finance. Um, this is your chance to do it because for the next five weeks, we're going to take an in-depth look at money and how we use it. And I promise that the work that you put in will be valuable and I will always be a resource for you down the road to help you understand how to make your money work for you. So let's start with workshop one. Workshop one, um, we start with the devotion, well, we start with introductions. And with introductions, um, I just love to know who I'm working with. And you'll notice with me, um, I love video. I love being able to put a face to a name. So if you wanna get a hold of me, I'm on Facebook. I'm on, um, there's a video messaging app called Marco Polo where you can record a video. It's not in real time. You could say, Professor DeYoung, I don't understand what you want from me on the cash flow exercise. I will then pick up my phone a few hours later, watch your video and explain it back to you face to face, just so you feel like you're not all alone in a course room, but you have another person that loves you and cares for you and is praying for you as you take this journey. What I'm looking for in devotionals is really just your thoughts. It's a good way for us to keep the main thing the main thing. Um, all of our wealth and resources comes from God and the way we use it will tell the story of how we feel about him. So what I ask from you right now is just to make sure that you realize that everything you, you have comes from God and there's an expectation that you use it in ways that will honor him. Um, stewardship discussion, these are the same things that you're gonna be talking about that I just brought up is, what is financial stewardship? It's realizing that God is entrusting you with his resources um, and to spend more time looking for resources in that. I always love to see students that make sure and do some additional research. Um, I love the scholarly journals, especially in the time that we are in right now. Um, who knows who to believe? And when we go to the scholarly community for information, um, it's so much more valuable. That being said, if you find something online at a website or a journal or a Bible study that is valuable, please put it in there and don't feel like I'm going to mark you down for not using scholarly resources, but find a good way to do both. Um, in this program, learning how to use those journals will help you be more confident in your answers as you challenge other people. Um, what we're looking at here in unit three is the cash flow exercise. Um, don't overthink this one. This is really... Um, you can call it a T-chart, but it's one, one sheet of paper. On one side, it says in. On one side, it says out. All the money that you have in. This is your paycheck, Social Security, child support payments, whatever that might be, whatever money comes into your family. And on the other side, you're writing what's going out. And the students that get the most out of this are the ones that write down every cup of coffee, every dollar given, every dollar loaned out, every dollar um, set aside for birthdays and celebrations and vacations. Um, the trick to all of this is to try to give every dollar that comes through your household a name. Give it a name. Put it in a place so that you 
you have a plan for your spending instead of reactionary spending. The monthly budget exercise is what you have to look at with your family. Get as detailed as you can. Go through and talk about all of the things that your money will need to go to in your family. Set some goals um, and don't get discouraged. Um, a lot of times after you get done with the budget, you realize that you're spending more than you make. That is less rare than you would think. This chapter and this week one is a time for you to look at everything you're spending, look at your goals, and then try and find a way to balance it so that there's extra money that you can save left over. Um, I always hear students say, well, it's just not possible, or you don't understand, or I don't have any money. I'm just here to work with you. I will never judge you. Um, and if you don't have any money, don't, don't have shame in that. Um, you're here trying to make a better life for yourself, and that's to be celebrated. The last part is this current condition paper. Um, I use a website called mint.com. Um, there are some students that are not comfortable putting their financial information into a website like that. I have used it myself without any trouble or any compromising position, so I feel confident in offering that to our students. But I also want you to know that if you are not comfortable with that, just go to the daveramsey.com website or type into Google um, a personal family budget template and you'll be able to get what you need from there. Um, I hope this helps. I hope that you guys will take part in this with me and I look forward to being the guide for our discussions. Thank you so much for being at Grace. Um, we're so thankful for our students here.